this is the mental thing. I know I can do this. But just Lord, 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 you have to show up. You got to do this. Smith's bathroom. No one knows when her fear of needles started, but she thinks it must have started at a very early age. She was forced to face her fears when she got the disease multiple sclerosis, but then it was a different kind of needle. Because I used to take shots, and that's what that's what I used to. Um, that's when I, I called I called um, Amy Amy Kate everybody. Because I used to take shots every day for my Copaxone. And I used to... No! No, it wasn't! It wasn't! Because, because with that one, it, I could put it in a, an injection. I mean, in, uh, it's called an auto -jet. And all I do is push... Yes! And that was it! I just pushed the button and then... This shot, it's more than just pushing a button. Because this, this is the one area where I, where I fear, where I get scared. Well, yeah, so I didn't know she was as scared as she was. Um, she saw the video and even made her more scared. So there's no way we can go to the house. There's no way we can go to the house. Uh, <laughs> Kim said, do I think I can do it for you? And I was like, ah. See, if you're afraid. This all happens. No, I'm not afraid of the needle. Yes, That's the you problem. Are. I'm not afraid of the needle. But I'm just afraid of doing it wrong. <laughs> it to, to find a fat part of her body, the belly, anything I can squeeze. Her head, I can squeeze her head. But uh, but that's not, <laughs> but, you know, we don't want to put it in her head. Yeah, yeah, it's a little hard. She does have a hard head anyway, I can't squeeze too much. And I, and, and I just jacked it and put it in, right? That is true. That is true. Once you knock the spear off your list, you will have no fear. Jaran sat down with us and talked about the fear. Everything, everything that I had to go through, I passed through it with flying colors. No problems. No problems at all. Cause, cause I'm a gangster like that, and plus I know that that um, Jesus is watching this and and. He has me under control. There's one final thing that that I had to face or that I have to face, and that's giving myself shots. I can't stand needles. I cannot stand needles. It's a mental thing. I know, you know, I know it's not I know it's not anything that's really gonna hurt me or harm me. But I just, since I was a little kid, I could not stand needles. Getting shots, giving my blood, taking taking my blood or or taking medicine, IV needles. I cannot stand needles. I'm like really petrified of needles. And and um, so then they 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 tell me that I have to give myself a shot every day. For six days and I'm like really really every day for six days I have to give myself a shot so I have been I have been struggling with that with the devil I think it's like he saw all the things 
that he's trying to put me through. He's trying to break me, you know, trying to get me all concerned and whatever. And it could, and he couldn't do that. He just couldn't do that. And I feel like he was like, okay, I'm just going to have to do something. I have to do something to make this girl know that I'm doing something. So, so he put that in, my, in the forefront. So after crying and everything, after the torture of that I put myself through, I did it. I actually did it. I gave myself a shot. Looks like another happy ending for Miss Stem Cell herself, Joanne. Live in the bathroom of the Seneca Hotel, I'm Poetry Smith.